Okay, uh, welcome. I just want to welcome you uh, to this LinkedIn and YouTube training uh, where I'm going to be showing you how I use LinkedIn uh, to get results with Infinity Reloaded and uh, how I also um, upload and uh, make my videos seen by people on YouTube. Um, so I'm going to show that as well. Um, and some, uh, some tips as well on how to actually rank your YouTube videos. Um, I don't know everything about it, but I do know that what I'm doing is getting me leads on a daily basis and uh, it's getting me signups as well um, into Infinity Reloaded. So without further ado, let's go into um, LinkedIn. So what I'm doing on LinkedIn is uh, I'm searching for people. First of all, every day I'm searching for new people um, on LinkedIn. So take, for example... Um, uh, just, just want to touch. Sorry, sorry, Joe. Julie, if you've got any questions, just, just uh, ask. Okay. Yeah. Feel free to ask if you've got any questions. So, what I'm doing is I'm searching for um, new people to connect with, basically on a daily basis on LinkedIn. Now, we're in the internet marketing uh, industry, so we're going to be searching out people. And there's a few ways you can do that. The first way is you can put in something like um, up here, internet marketer, and um, so I want to just mute um, Nikita. Cool. Right. Um, so you can see here um, in total, I have 2,982 connections on LinkedIn. And every day this is going up as I'm connecting with new people. Now, on my uh, network page here, um, it's going to show can, me. Can you why. just explain to Julie? Sorry, because um, it's for Julie's benefit as well. Um, can you just explain the difference between Facebook and LinkedIn and how you connect with yeah. people? Yeah, so the difference between Facebook and LinkedIn. So Facebook, as you know, is pretty much where everybody is. It's a uh, social media site that the whole world uses. Um, it's online, you know, the second biggest um, uh, site other than Google. I think it's right behind Google in the uh, online space. Um, LinkedIn is a bit more specific. It's sort of... Um, tiered more towards uh, professionals. So you've got a lot of successful businessmen, you've got a lot of professional, um, you know, people of, of all professions really, you know, it's a professional site. If you sort of got the, got the image in your head of, you know, guys in suits and, and uh, that kind of thing. And, you know, professional businessmen and lawyers and solicitors and any profession, that's what LinkedIn's about. So it's not really a site, although a lot of people use it, um, just like Facebook, but it's sort of more of a professional site. And that's a great thing uh, because you can really sort of search out people who are successful. Um, I've spoken to quite a few six and seven and even eight figure earners on uh, LinkedIn and had a conversation with them. So you can really sort of reach out that target um, audience, um, which is it, it's possible to do on uh, Facebook as well. I want to just, um, is that Julie, yeah? No worries, Julie. Um, it's, it's possible to do that on Facebook as well, but it's a little bit more difficult um, because unless you know who those people are, um, you can't sort of search them out as well. So what you can do with LinkedIn is uh, you can search for things like Internet Marketer. If I just search, um, you can see here um, there's always new... Um, it's asking me to... Now, just as, just as so we'll show Julie... Um, if you can message them, they're, they're already connected to you, yeah? I think this is because I've connected with too many people today. Um, I've reached sort of the commercial use limit. Um, I get that now and then. Like today I've connected with about 150 people um, on LinkedIn. So this, once you sort of get to that level, I think they'd like you to go premium, um, which allows you to sort of filter, filter down more specifically. Um, one of the great things I love about LinkedIn is um, it's a lot easier to actually sort of target an audience um, than Facebook. So what you can do is you can you can click here, you know, USA people. We can pick a country that you're targeting. Uh, you can even search by what companies these people are in. So you can put in a company here, um, and you can find people on LinkedIn who are. Let's just type in Skinny Body Care, for example. You can actually find people who are in Skinny Body Care. Um, another great thing you can see is you know, how long they've actually been in, one of these is how long they've been in the industry, um, uh, what university they went to, um, all kinds of professional things that you can search people out by 
um, on LinkedIn. You can also go, like I said, to companies, or you can go to groups. But the main way I'm growing LinkedIn is I'm typing in things like here, like work from home, the same kind of keywords you would type in to find groups on Facebook. Um, you would type in things, you know, like work from home, um, network marketer, network marketer, and uh, from there you would search. And uh, you can you can also join a lot of groups on here as well, um, and sort of go into those groups and um, start start connecting with those people. Another thing you do is go to the people's tab, and um, you can follow these people. You can message them. These are all people on my first. This here first means that they're basically on my friend list. So let's say um, I'm friends with you, or it's called connections on LinkedIn, not friends, but. It's basically the same as Facebook. So let's say you're a friend of someone on LinkedIn. Um, they're your first connection. Now, obviously, a second connection is some, one of their friends. And a third connection is one of their friends. So you can message, I believe, anyone in your first three um, connections once you've got people, as you know, and they come up here. You can connect with any people in your three um, generations. Now, that I'm not sure... I think I have today connected with a lot of people, so I'm getting this come up. Um, so do you want me to um, share? Do you want me to share mine, Joe? Um, you can do. I was just going to show one other thing. Okay. First. Under the my network tab, um, this is going to show you people you may know. And um, this is if you got like if you're starting to build your connections with internet marketers and network marketers and affiliate marketers. Um, as that grows, you're going to have a ton of people in the people you may know tab. So what I do is, you know, I connect with um, all these kind of people that look like they're um, entrepreneurs, sales executives, um, if they're in any online businesses I know, so like Motor Club of America, entrepreneurs, sales associate, quite a lot of these are MCA people, um, people in like Zuku, Skilly Body Care, um, it's bringing me quite a lot of them. Um, sort of anyone sort of in these kind of same kind of industry that we're in, really, I'm connecting with those people. And they and they accept your connection, don't they? Yeah, a lot of them accept. So this is how I built 2,982 in about um, oh, about three or four months. I sort of built it up to that. Um, and you can do posts. It's the same as Facebook. I'll show you in a minute. Um, my personal timeline, my personal LinkedIn profile. And you can then see, um, if I just do a couple, you get the idea anyway. And then in the notifications tab, you can see when people connect with you. Um, so you can see, if I just scroll down, how maybe it's in, they've changed the layout a bit. Maybe it's in um, my network. Um, manage all, sent. So these are all the people I've sent a request to today or recently um, notifications which should show who's connected with me recently um, but for some reason it's not I still they've actually changed the layout for this um, in the last sort of week or so so I'm still sort of trying to figure my way around it but on the my network section you can see all my connections here and you can see the people I may know and you can see a load more have come up now it's just endless. I mean, you could sit there for 20 minutes and connect with all these people, you know what I mean? And, you know, it's a lot of, look, it just goes on and on and on. And I've literally done that. I've sat there for half an hour and just go connect. connect yeah, that's connect. a good thing. You're just never going to run out of people. Between Facebook and LinkedIn, you're never going to run out of people. Yeah. As your connections go up, so let's say I've done all these, now I might have, like, well over 3,000 connections, and then even more people will show up in the people, as you may know, um, section so it's just never ending so that's one way you can do it Julie is um, is do it like that hey Eugene I'd see you've just um, uh, come online with us uh, we're just doing a YouTube and a LinkedIn sort of training I'm showing people how I'm using it to grow and we're sort of doing a one-on-one -on -one training for Julie and Burns but uh, we've got obviously a few people that are jumping on and, and having a yeah. watch as well which is fine yeah so um, this is what I do as you can see, a lot of people, I can just connect, connect, connect um, people in my people you may know tab. Um, um, and if I just go to my home, 
uh, you can see this is like my they've got they've actually mimicked a lot of facebook they've actually sort of taken a lot of the ideas from facebook so you can see this is kind of like a home news feed um just like facebook has you've got like your own news feed where people your connections they're posting things um can i can i just ask there joe um can, you know, on Facebook, you can only sort of add so many friends, you know, um, in any one sort of go. Yeah. Um, can you just, can you keep adding and clicking and clicking on that one? Adding on um, LinkedIn? You can. I mean, I've only, I think, been told um, once in a few months of doing LinkedIn to slow down. I can't remember what it said, but they, they, restricted me for about an hour and then i was able to continue connecting with people so oh okay thanks it's definitely not as strict as facebook you're definitely able mm -hmm. to um because you know linkedin's actually whereas well, facebook's more geared towards you know connecting with your friends and family people you know um, linkedin's more of a networking site it's more of a connecting with new people site building networks that kind of thing yeah um, so you've got a bit more leeway um with LinkedIn but if I just take you to my profile um, you can see here uh, this is kind of like my timeline uh, where you can put a bit about yourself um, you can also do you can see I've done some videos I've put on YouTube I've also posted on my um, um, LinkedIn profile and people can like come to your timeline they can do what's called endorse you uh, which means basically they're sort of saying yeah he has got these skills or I've worked with him in the past. You can see John Bates has given me a lot of endorsements. Um, all these sort of people come into your um, LinkedIn and they're endorsing you. Let's just check the chat box. Yeah, so, um, hey, Nakisha. Um, yeah, so all this LinkedIn, you can do stuff like this. You can connect with a lot of different people. Um, and that's what I love about it. And, you know, it's proper networking site. They've got proper professionals. Um, Facebook has a lot of them as well, but LinkedIn, you can really sort of target who you want to target um, easier uh, than you can with Facebook. Can um, I just uh, share my screen, Joe, and I'll just I'll show um, Julie yeah. on on mine, on my LinkedIn. One second. Let's just quickly, uh, I've got to uh, think where I've got it on my hard drive. Um. <laughs> you want me to show how I actually message those people, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I want you to show that in a minute. I'm just going to, um, uh, if I go to, um, oh dear, hang on, bear with me. Oh, there it is. I've just turned it off. Hang on. Uh, sidebar, toolbar, RoboForm. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, hang on, one second. Sure about this. <laughs> if any of this is you find confusing, Judy, just stop us and let us know and we can go back on it and that kind of thing yeah okay no hang on problem. one sec no hang on uh, i only set this yesterday what's the matter with it hang on that's better right logins let's quickly go linkedin where's my linkedin LinkedIn, LinkedIn, where are you? I don't know why it's got linked. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's just link log in. Now, I don't use it as much as Joe, but uh, I do find it really handy. I'm still, uh, I mean, I, I use it on a day. Can I just point out that yeah. I spend about an hour maybe or so on LinkedIn. I'm still mainly on Facebook. I mean, 80% of my activity is on Facebook, 20% uh, yeah. on LinkedIn. Now yours, your, uh, yours looks slightly different to mine, Joe. Is there a reason? Yeah, for like that? I said, like I said, you've got, you've still got some reason. You've still got the old layout, which I much prefer. Uh, but mine, they've changed layout in the last week or so. Well, that's really strange, isn't it? But basically, what it's I like tend to do. They, go on. It's like when Facebook changed the timeline, and some people got it earlier than others. But you'll probably get it like I put it soon. Yeah, I mean, what I tend to do is I tend to sort of put in like if I put in affiliate marketing. And I just go uh, search. So I'll do a quick search on that first when it comes up. Okay. So then I can, after I've done the search, I can then choose on the left hand side here, like people, jobs, companies, groups. So if I, if, if I just go people, let's quickly go people. 
It's going to bring up everyone in affiliate marketing. And then look, first connection, second connection, group members. Uh, I can target them like United States. If I go United States, it's going to filter them again. And then look, I can connect with these people. I can sort of connect with him. Um, affiliate marketing, I can connect with them. Uh, I can send e emails to these people in mails. Um, there's another one here that I can connect with. Um, so that's one way of like searching people and then start to connect with them. You can also using the same, let's just put in, um, let's put in MLM and do the same thing. Let's do a search. Uh, th this time let's go to groups. Let's quickly uh, scroll down. Hang on. Let's quickly find it. Let's go uh, MLM group. Okay. 364 of them. Let's quickly go in there. And look, now you've got different groups where you can connect to the groups, yeah? So same sort of thing, I'll let Joe, I just want to just sort of do that quickly for you, just so you um, don't get sort of snowed under, <laughs> snowed down with uh, confusion. It's you know, basically you would search, and then after you search, you would select like, you know, people, groups, uh, where they are, you can sort of narrow it down. On, the, on Joe's it's on the right hand side, on here it's on the left hand side, so I'm using the older, but if you can see here, like years of experience, uh, interested in company size when joined um, so it is it's got more scope than Facebook to actually find the right kind of people in that way but with that I'm gonna stop sharing I'll let you uh, share again uh, Jay yeah sure hang on. I see we've got some uh, spectators there <laughs> which is great um, let me know I'm not sure if you're already in um, if or not I can't remember um, just let me know and if you if you'd like to join I can get you started um, but yeah, with LinkedIn, um, you're still recording, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, with LinkedIn, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, in my network, I can go to my connections and I can see um, all the people that recently added. So this is just like Facebook where you, where, where you can sort of see the newest friends um, that, you're, you, that you've been friended with on Facebook. Well, with LinkedIn, um, you can also see uh, your newest connections. Now, the way I keep track of this is um, I sort of keep a track. So let's say um, I ended with Brett Temple earlier. So I was messaging all these people. I'm going up the list because I start from the oldest to the newest. So I'm going up the list. And let's say earlier, uh, Brett Temple was right at the top of my list. So he's the newest uh, connection that I was on with LinkedIn earlier. But obviously, since I've got all these people above. Now, so what I would do is I write down you know, Brett Temple, I've sent him the message, I've sent him the script that we use. Um, and above that, all these people I, I know, then if I keep track of who my last person I message was, I know that anyone above them, I have a message. Because as you can see, when you go to message someone, it's not like Facebook where you can see your previous correspondence with that person. Uh, with LinkedIn, it doesn't say, it doesn't show you. So I mean, before I started keeping track of it in this way, um, sometimes I forget to do. Yeah, because you, you don't want to have to send them the same message twice. So yeah, you so really I, need to take keep a, keep a record of it. Who who you last left? Uh, who who you last sent the message to? Yeah. Yeah. So um, you can see here. Uh, if I just actually take you, I've got. Oh, I'm still on the PowerPoint. Hang on. <laughs> if I just take you to this uh, file I have, um, which is a Notepad file, and this is how I keep track of it. So if I just load it up, I'm not that one. Just get it up on screen here. So you can see here, uh, this is a notepad file. So the last person, the most recent person I sent a message to on Facebook, I uh, was Lee Smith. And the most recent person I sent a message to on, Rob, on LinkedIn uh, was Robert Solomon. So if we just scroll down, all I have to do is go from the top. And this was last time. I, you see this guy here, Robert Solomon, yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Any, these four here, I haven't messaged, so I can then send them uh, the script that we're using, and I don't have to worry about, you know, I sent Laura it already, and she's going to get two messages from me, or I know that she hasn't not received any, a message from me, and I'm going to miss out her. Um, so I always keep track of who my last person was. So with Laura, and the way I do it, you know um, the script we're using uh, with Infinity Reloaded, which works very well. Um, um, you just how the script that we've used, it's built a massive team, as you know, um, with Infinity Reload, similar to the SPC ones we're using. 
uh, but it's pretty easy to do. I put in there, hey Laura, um, and then I'm just pasting the script in there and sending. Um, now obviously, um, it doesn't take that long to do this if you paste it in, send, and if you're connected with a lot of people like I showed you earlier how to do, and you're connected with a lot of people on your people you may know tab, and you're just spending 10 or 15 minutes. I mean, you can go connect, 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 connect. And, you know, you can connect with a lot of people each day with quite a little amount of time, really. Um, and then anyone who accepts your connection is going to show up in this list. And then you can just go through these and just, um, you know, send them a script. You're going to get people back saying, yes, sure. And, in fact, um, one of them tonight... Um, so same, yeah, sort of thing, same sort of thing as Facebook, isn't it? You're going to get, yeah, sure, yeah, send over the info. You're going to get people say, you're going to get people say, aren't, aren't you supposed to build a relationship? I mean, the same thing you're going to get on LinkedIn as you are on Facebook. But, I mean, I actually find that LinkedIn's less, you get less of that. Um, people are sort of more professional, so they're not quite as aggressive, if you like. They're not aggressive on Facebook, but on Facebook it can be sort of more sort of no's and cold responses yeah, but it's just part of part of it we're looking for the people who say yes at the end of the day but one of the people that said yes yeah, sure earlier instead of sending them to the sales page i said um it was actually about half an hour before the webinar started i said um hey we're doing a live webinar in half an hour um are you available to hop on and they said yeah and i saw on the webinar their name um showed up on one of the participants so you know, you can use it as well. If, if it's like right before a webinar, then you can sort of invite people onto the webinar rather than sort of send them the um, video. That's what I sort of do. Um, so that's the last one. So now I can go to my notepad and I can basically take out Robert Solomon and put in Donna Let's Cake and save it. Um, so that then, let's say I've got a load more connections tomorrow, they're all going to be above Donna. That's how I keep track of it, and that's how I know that. You understand can... that now, Julie, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Awesome, right. So that's what I do with LinkedIn. Um, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm spending maybe 15 minutes a day. Are you, are you um, doing group posts as well, Joe? Are you putting adverts out on there? or? No, I'm not at the moment. I'm not at the moment. No. I mainly use Facebook to do that. Um, I'm not sort of doing everything. I'm mainly trying to focus on Facebook and YouTube, and then I just sort of do LinkedIn as a third um, supplementary thing each day, yeah, because I yeah, think it's yeah, better. Yeah. I mean, I know a lot of people do sort of Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, um, all the other stuff, Google Plus. Um, but you know, I think it's better to the way we've grown it is we've been very focused on one or two. Um, yeah. So we're doing YouTube yeah, videos yeah. every day. We're, we're connected with a lot of people on Facebook every day. We're doing a group post on Facebook, um, and then with LinkedIn, we're just sort of connecting with a few people, but it's not really where my main daily uh, focus is. But every yeah, day between, I'm going on... Between uh, Facebook and YouTube, you can create a lot, and obviously LinkedIn is a good top-up as well. Absolutely. I mean, that's it. I mean, it's just a top-up. So there's always going to be new people showing in here. You could just go down. It doesn't take long to connect, connect, you know what I mean? So it's really... Um, pretty pretty easy i mean you can see in about a minute i've just connected with about 20 30 people and you know a lot of people a lot of them on linkedin are going to accept your connections and then they're going to show in your connections here in the list i just showed you a minute ago with all the people and then all you have to do is send them the first message and you know you're going to get a lot of people if i just show you my messages um you're going to get people uh, if i just scroll down I'm um, trying to find someone who said something. Go, go click on messages again, Joe. It's not showing. Hang on, hang on. I'm looking for... So you can see here, um, here's one. Oh, yeah. Uh, Hi, Joe. Thanks for reaching out. It's a pleasure to connect with you. As an entrepreneur, I'm always opening to add income streams. We'll definitely be interested in finding, about, finding, more, finding out more about what you're doing. Um, you can see I've sent sorts of system as ten dollars get started you know as you make tell them a little bit about it obviously don't have a massive um are you using exactly the same scripts there as facebook yeah, or, yeah. i've got the script so um, again the people who say yes they're on the stage two if you like of the system yeah and i think that's i think that's is what makes it 
easy to duplicate is if you've got like a system like this where you do have scripts because I know not everyone needs them and I don't necessarily need them because you know I can just start a conversation but I still use the scripts because then I can show my one I can show the team what I'm doing and they can duplicate and get results and two I can um it's, it's some it, and it works so I use it you know um and you can see then when they click on the link it takes them there they can watch the webinar and then click here to continue um that's what we have um but that's basically all my linkedin all the things i do um i don't really um post into groups i don't do any of that on linkedin i will post any youtube videos i do i will post on my uh, timeline i just put the link in there write a little bit about it you know i started this business um you know two months ago and check out the results or sometimes i'll just talk with my uh, mother on youtube and we'll just sort of discuss how we came into this uh, <coughs> that kind of thing um and that's basically how i use linkedin have you got, have any, you got, have you got any questions julie on linkedin no 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 i just i just don't um just get it set up i guess really i've not ever i haven't created a profile so I guess that's quite straightforward, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah you... straightforward. We can help you do that as well. Yeah, I can help you. Do go to Google and type in um, LinkedIn, you know, create account. Uh, you'll be able to set yeah. up an account. Um, you can then set up, you know, your profile. So um, you can sort of, uh, if I just show you my profile, obviously a picture, a nice cover photo, um, a little bit about yourself. Uh, that uh, picture there, I see it's quite long, Joe. Is that, is that a special size, is it? I don't it know. obviously stretches the picture. Yeah, it might not be the best one to use, but I mean, this I put up um, months ago. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, but you can see then, I've sort of put, a, you can put a, your experience, what you've been in, what you've done, um, you know, all your pro sort of professional experience, if you like. Um, and then that's basically it. You can then start following things. Um, you can sort of write a bit more about yourself. You can um, edit your public profile. Yeah, the more information you've got on there, the more people can check you out sort of thing as well. And it's just like Facebook, um, Julie. You're just sort of creating a yeah. social profile. And then what you could do then is you can uh, start connecting with people. Start typing in here, you know, internet marketers, go for a certain company. Um, you know, you can search in for any online company you know and just sort of start connecting with those people. And then in your people you may know, Obviously, this list will be small, but as your connections, as you grow your connections, yeah, um, it'll it, it'll expand you to more people, as as you know, yeah. Mhm. Mm cool. Thank you. Um. So, should we go over to YouTube now? Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. let's uh, let's uh, go to YouTube. So, with YouTube. Should I, um. Should I show you what I've I've done? So yeah. Far? Yeah. Just share your screen a minute before yeah, Joe starts. You want to, um, if you share your, yeah. If you share your screen. Yeah, because I attempted by myself to upload a video and, you know, for the first time. So you could maybe show me, um, you know, where I've gone wrong, where I've gone right, possibly. Um, is that Sharon? Or, yeah. 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 Okay. So, um, so here is my, I created a new YouTube channel. Yes. Yeah. Especially for Infinity Reloaded. Okay. Yeah. And um, I just use that, you know, that we uh, gen generic one. Yeah. Um, and uh, and put my own. Uh, what do you call it? So I just want to show you. Uh, I guess I'll show you where. I suppose you're going to want to see keywords and things I've put in. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. yeah so. I just called it that and then I just put my own wee bit of uh, text in there. Perfect. And then, you know, I, I copied some keywords from um, Joe, some of your previous um, videos. Oh, I you know how to find them, yeah? Joe, uh, James showed me and um, he showed me the yeah. other day. Yeah. So you, you typed in Control F and you copied it from the code, yeah? Control F and copied it from the code, yes. Yeah, and wow, that, I'm impressed. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'll just, I get, there's it there, there's the code there, so I'll just, those I'll just show anybody that, that I, I mean, it's, you, you don't need me to show it, you know, you understand that I got it okay, and then... Was that your leg then? What's that? <laughs> Was that your leg? 
<laughs> no, I don't know what that was. I thought you were showing me a bit of leg then. That's <laughs> somebody, somebody on my Facebook page. Here, oh, right, I thought you were showing me your leg. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a girl in, in the States. <laughs> anyway, so then I went to annotations here and I was able to put, uh, and I guess maybe it's best if, if I show you the video live, I guess. Um, and you'll yeah. see. Um, You'll see. Wow. Yeah. Fine. Just pause that. So I was able to put this in the info bit. Um, and then they can click on that. Um, yeah. Well, perfect. Perfect. I, I don't know if I did that right or, or, or not. But yes. It's not a barking dog. Sorry, guys. My um, door is just falling. I'm so sorry. Can I just go it'll, stop, it'll stop in a minute. Um, right, hold on. I'll just, um, I'll just make myself ready. Okay, okay, no worries. No worries, uh, Judy. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, Judy's getting the most of it. Let me just, uh, I'll just mute you, Julie. One sec. One sec. Um, yeah, I mean, Julie's um, got, I think, pretty much um, YouTube uh, the principles of like how to do it. She's got it, hasn't she? She knows. She knows what she's doing there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so like, if you just cover on what you do, Joe, just to sort of reinstate that, re sort of reconfirm that she's done it right, would be yeah, great. Yeah. I mean, the first thing. The first thing is, um, Julie. Um, the first thing is obviously to record your video. Um, as your channel, you sort of want to be branding. Um mention that you sort of created a channel for infinity reloaded what's your actual channel name called it was infinity reloaded yeah okay well what you want to do is is change your channel to brand yourself yeah so you want to have like julianne burns's channel yeah yeah she can she can hear you i'm sure go on yeah so you want to be um are you let sorry just confirm you can hear me yeah judy let me unmute you. Before I go oh, no. Sorry, I was on mute. So, um, yes. Please. Speak up a bit, Julie. You're a bit low. Right, one second. I'll turn it up a little bit. Can you hear that a little bit better? No, oh, you're a little bit on the low side. If you could just peek it up a little bit. Um, is that a wee bit better? Oh, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. A lot better. Yeah. Okay. So, I've changed the name to my name then, yeah? Yes. Um, yes, definitely, because you're branding yourself and you're not just a, a corporate entity, yeah? You're Julianne Burns, you're a person. And if okay. people are watching your videos, they're, they're going to be joining through you. They're going to be getting to know you on your videos. They're going to be getting to like you, getting to trust you, and they're going to be joining you. Mm -hmm. um, that's the way it works best, and that's the way all the big... Um, I see you've had 6,000 views and uh, 120 subscribers. That's that's a good amount of views from that many subscribers. I mean, yeah. Obviously, obviously, um, this isn't all Infinity Reloaded. A lot of no, this, right, from right. When we were doing SBC videos and same with the subscribers, a lot of them were in my SBC team. And but you can see the last 28 days. Uh, in the last 28 days, I've only been doing Infinity Reloaded videos, and you can see I've had a, a 38 subscribers in the last uh, 28 days. Yeah. And just to show you, um, I just want to show you, I know I, I told this to Judy, but um, for the benefit of everyone else who watches this um, training, I just want to prove to you um, that YouTube um, does does work. So if I just show you um, my opt-ins today into my capture page, as you can see this guy here, David Osman, um, he opted in at my capture page that I've got on YouTube. So it's exactly the same look. Uh, just explain to Julie how you know that's YouTube. I know that's YouTube because I've got one, I've got a capture page and I created a duplicate. I, I put in a little subdomain here, YT. I, yeah, I noticed that when I was looking through your videos earlier, yeah. yeah the reason that is because I want to know how many people are coming in from my YouTube videos, yeah? Yeah. So anyone who opts in at this page, which by the way looks identical to my main 10 bucks biz page, Mm -hmm. um, anyone who opts in here, I know have come from YouTube, uh, but this guy here, David Osman, if I just show you on the personal uh, front levels that we've had um, here, 
you can see uh, one of these today is one of these is YouTube. Hang on. Um, stop off pretty yet. If I just show you, so David Osman, and he came in. Uh, this guy here, look, David Osman, uh, two hours ago, he signed up from YouTube, so it works. Um, the main thing is you just want to get st get your channel started. Um, don't worry about making your videos perfect. Just get them out there. Um, plenty of my videos, I say the same thing twice, or I repeat myself, or I sort of. Um, um, Joe, could I just ask? I um I don't know how to record a video. And you know, just and it's a rec it's a recording yeah. off a screen where I can point with yes, you know the yes. mouse and stuff. I've I only do ever it. done a front facing one. You know, me facing the camera. The I've never... very, it's very very easy. Um, I use Zoom. Uh, you just come on the Zoom session, and if I just stop sharing, you're at the bottom of this Zoom session. You'll see the button record. Yeah. Right. You just click that, and it'll start recording, and then you click stop oh. recording. And, and then you just talk. moon over your mouse about and talk as if you're talking yeah. to the people. Make sure obviously you're sh you hit share screen first, and then when you're sharing your screen, you can then hit record, and it'll start recording. Yeah. Now, when oh. you've finished what you want to say, you can hit stop recording, and then what you want to do is hit end meeting once you've done your videos. Um, and what it's going to do then is it's going to download them onto your computer. Yeah. So, oh, it will download it, will it, automatically? Yeah. yeah. Once, you, once you end the meeting, you've done your videos, you've, you've recorded them, you end the meeting, you'll then have a box that comes up after you end the Zoom, Zoom meeting that, that, that goes across and it's like downloading them onto your computer, yeah? Okay. So, so basically you do the same thing when, as, as we're doing right now. You're just doing the same thing, but you're just doing yeah. it for yourself, yeah? For myself. Just pretend I'm talking to somebody. Now when you're sharing, um, I don't think I can share this panel here that I've got, uh, but when you're sharing, um, you'll see this little bar comes up like it did a minute ago when you were sharing. In fact, if you just share, Julie, mm -hmm. just share your screen so I can show you, uh, you'll see that little bar, that Zoom bar comes up, yeah? Yeah, this one. You click where it says more, and Where? then you'll see, you'll see record, yeah? Where's that now, Joe? On the Zoom bar. That come, we can't see the Zoom bar, only you can see that. At the top. Oh, you, oh it says more, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you'll see record, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, so okay. That's how you start recording. And then to stop recording, you would go more stop recording, yeah? Yeah, mm-hmm. And okay. then you just end the Zoom and it'll or leave the Zoom session once you've done them and it'll download them. You can actually set up uh, hotkeys as well. If you wanted to use like your space bar to stop or something like that, yeah, you could yeah, use yeah. that as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, but you can do that. Um, so what, what did you say there? What did you say? It, you can also that? set up hotkeys as well. In the setup, you can actually put in hotkeys so that if you want to use something else, just, uh, you know, just touch one key and it will stop and start recording, yeah? Oh, okay. So you um, can do that so in the settings. Another thing is, say, Joe, say I want to upload, um, you know, one of your videos onto my channel, Joe. Yeah. Uh, you've you've got uh, you've got your wee annotation at the end. You know, how do I remove yours and put mine on? Um, I don't. I think if you download someone else's video, I'm not. 100% on this, but if you download someone else's video and you upload it to your own channel, I'm not actually sure if the annotation comes up, does it? No. No, I didn't no. think it would, so... You have to uh, set the annotation... You, you set the annotation for yourself, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so you... Okay. Is there not... Is there so... Um, I, so you don't end your videos with... Um, if you don't say it or anything, if you want to... Um... Yeah, so most of my videos, um, I always mention in the video... Um, you know, if you'd like to check out what we're doing, if you'd like to check out the website, um, you can click the link in the description below. Okay. So I, okay. That, but I also have a thing usually on most videos, depends what I'm showing, um, mm -hmm. but on most videos, um, I'll put an annotation on there as well, yeah? Sometimes yeah. I have it pop up when I say, sometimes I'll say something like, um, you know, click the, click the pop up that's just coming up on the screen now, if you'd like to check it out, and then obviously I can time it so that that, that mm. annotation comes up when I say that, yeah? Okay. If you just quickly um, go to your... Sorry, sorry go on, Julie. Um, Joe, could you send me maybe a couple of those 
uh, PowerPoint presentations you have on explaining Infinity Reloaded. So yeah, yeah, I can send them. I can, I can use them. Yeah. And there. soon, soon, um, Julie, as you know, I'm, I'm creating new slides for our new videos. Mm. When I've got that done, I'll tailor one to you as well. So you've got your own funnel. Yeah. Okay, so, great. As you can see, Julie, I'm just sending you now Infinity Reloaded webinar slides, all right? Yeah. Just, let me just, just quickly let me just quickly show Julie real quick. Let me just go share screen a minute. Those slides are the same ones I shown on the webinar, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, something like that would be great for now in the meantime. Yeah. And I think I've shown you this before, just real quick. I'm gonna just really dart through these. I haven't finished them yet. And as as you can see, uh, let me just quickly go full screen so you can see. The new slides, I'm still working on them, you know. And Pete, basically, I've got this one up for Joe and Abby, but I can yeah. tailor this to anyone in the team, yeah, because it won't, it won't take long to do. It's only a picture and a, and a bit of a, uh, a quick spiel about who you are, yeah? So this yeah. is tailored for them. Some of the mistakes they've made, and oh, then that's that's, brilliant. they can sort of put in some of the things like the traffic monsoon and you know, other things that they've done, you know, the mistakes they've made. Um, we can help you stop pulling your hair out when it comes to making money online. And as we shoot through the slide, and I quickly go, you know, uh, let, let's dive into the system, see how it all works. Uh, some of them I haven't done. Uh, this one, let me just quickly go back. Testimonials. Oh, hang on. This one's about the Facebook groups. I'm, I'm sort of working on that slide at the moment. Um, a few testimonials. Uh, this one is about, hang on, let me just quickly go back. Hang on. That's the only trouble when you're on Zoom, there's a bit of lag. So this one about loads of downloadable courses, about the courses inside Infinity Reloaded. Um, this one, uh, ads for the team. So obviously, I'm doing ads for the team as well. So they, and the more ads I do um, that I create, I can you know add them to the list. So there'll be more and more of them as time goes on. Uh, this one here I done of the back office. This is going to change. I just I just update the images when I when the new back office is uh, live. Yeah. Um, Infinity reloaded levels. You know, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, titanium, diamond, crown diamond. So what does it mean for you? This is. The new uh, slide that I've got for explaining the, the marketing plan, which is not finished yet. And then as we scroll down, I've got the 45 year plan in there. And then look, right, this is the last slide. Multiply $10 with speed. Click the button below this video. And then it, they'd be able to obviously, you're, this will be in a video that you can do. And then obviously talk through the slides as well. So you could have a, a video at the front of you sat behind your uh, sat in front of your computer, and then using Zoom you could go through the slides with people, just as I'm doing right now. Um, and then obviously you can make that into like a funnel, and then rather than sending people to the sales page, uh, which doesn't co it won't convert as well as you going through like slides that I've made and like a video from from you. So people are actually joining you, and then instead of taking them. When they click the button below the video that they see on the video page that you're obviously creating PLS or one of my share codes, when they click that button, it'll go straight to the sign-up page. So marketers like us that want to bypass the sales page, they can go straight to a sign-up page. So when they sign up, it'll be straight with you and straight into their back office. They won't have to do their affiliate account. It's all, all done within the new system, yeah? So hopefully, <laughs> let me just put it back to Joe. Great. Um, yeah, that looks brilliant, James. Looking forward to using that. But in the meantime, can can I just have the ones from Joe? Yeah, yeah. Joe sent them to you. Brilliant. I mean, I'm aiming. I'm aiming to get the new slides done for when the new update's done. Yeah. But I mean, okay. until then, you can use those slides, Julian. Just go through them, or take some of them and go through them. And yeah. yeah. They just always remember that you that when you're doing your YouTube videos, you're promoting Julie and not Infinity Reloaded. Yeah. Obviously, oh, you're. Okay. Obviously, you're sharing Infinity Reloaded, but that's not their joint. If they join from your YouTube videos, they're joining because you know they like they like you basically, yeah. Okay, um, Joe, could I just no, ask? I um, yeah, as well. Do you know, you see, when you get to see that annotation bit, I, I was stuck on that for a long, long time, but I managed, to, I managed to do it okay. But can you show me a nice, simple way to do that bit once you've? You, you know, you've put your keywords in, you've done all your explaining what your video is about, and then you go to that bit, you know, for the put a wee, uh, you know, annotation on. Can you show me just the simplest way to do that? Yeah, so um, if I just uh, 
Was I really dead go around the houses, you know, to do well, that? It's pretty easy if I just show you in the video manager. Um, this one was a private video I'd done, so I'll put an annotation on this. If you go to edit and um, this, you go to uh, end screen and annotations. Mm -hmm. And you go to where it says annotations. Yeah. Now, what I do is, first of all, I'll go to where I want the annotation to start. So if oh, I, I did it so differently to that, my goodness. Yeah. Just, just check out how I'm doing it. So, mm -hmm. if I want it to, if I'm, if I'm saying something at the end of the video, like, uh, uh, first thing I'll do is I'll watch the video, and if I say something like, um, um, you know, click the, click the pop up that's just coming yeah. up on the screen now. If I say that, I'll, I'll find out from the video what time of the video that is. Yeah, so it might be like 43 seconds. I say that. Mhm. Mm um, so I'll click 43 seconds, and then what I will do is I'll then go add annotation. I'll go note. And you can see this little thing comes up here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so what I can do now is in the, in the box here, I can put something like check out the, check out, um, or click here to check out, something like that. Click here to get started. Sometimes I'll put click here to learn more. It doesn't really matter because you're going to do a lot of videos, yeah? So yeah. you can um, play around what you say. Um, but here I'll always put it on 28. But this is just a nice sort of size to put it. I'll, sometimes I'll do it big. It all depends on what I'm showing on the screen. So as you can see here, I might put it there because there's a load of white space here, yeah? Mm -hmm. Obviously, if I've got a, an image, I wouldn't put it over the, the image to cover it up, yeah? Yeah. And if I'm just showing like slides, um, or I'm showing like an image on the on the video that has, that's got no room to put it. Um, quite often I won't do an annotation for that video, yeah. So I sort of do it. I sort of look at each video and say, should I put an annotation in this? If it's like this one showing the tree, I always put an annotation in it. So I'll move it into position wherever I want it, wherever it looks good. I won't put it like there covering up the tree. I won't put it right at the bottom covering up here where they're not going to see it. I will put it like there, yeah. Yeah. Um, next thing I'll do is I'll change the color because you can see this is on a white background So what I'll do is I'll make it stand out a bit more um, Sometimes I'll do sort of a ready color mm -hmm. Depending on what the background for the what I'm showing on the screen. Yeah uh, Next thing yeah, I'll do is obviously you want it to show up because if it's if it's white on, on a white background it ain't gonna show up is it? Yeah, so I mean you wouldn't put that like that. Yeah, so you would have it a color that looks good. Um, if you're showing like an image or you're showing black slides, um, you won't have it black. You'll have it a color that stands out and you sort of make it bigger. Um, I don't sort of make it too big because it's sort of too much in your face. It's like join here this bit too hard. You just want it there so people can see it. And if they want to click on it, um, they can click on it. You know, no problem. Um, here is where it starts to where it finishes. So. This means it will show it will show up from 44 seconds in the video uh, to 47 seconds in the video. Now, as you can see here, the video is 54 seconds long. Yeah. Mhm. Mm so what I'll do here is let's say I want it from there, this point in the video, all the way to the end. I'll just put it here like 54, and you can see that it goes down here. It goes all the way to the end. Mhm. Mm um, so it's going to be there for the whole. Sometimes I'll start zero here. If I want it all the way through. I would just put here zero and I'll put here what the end, how long the video is, basically 54 seconds, yeah? That way that will show up the whole video. Um, sometimes I sort of have it in the bottom, like click here to learn more if I'm talking about it. And then at any point during the video, they can check it out. You can also do it so you've got more than, so it will come on like um, at the beginning, the middle and the end, can't you? Yeah, so you can do the custom and stuff, but I generally just pull it on at a certain time to start and end. Um, most of them, I'll, I'll pull it like the last sort of 20, 30 seconds. So I might pull it like from 34 seconds in to 54 seconds in, yeah? Yeah. That way, they've got it. You don't want to put it like three seconds where it comes up and then it goes really quickly. So 20 to 30 seconds is a good amount of time um, at the end of the video. Um, now, if you want to link it to your page, um, the first thing you need to do, I mean, have you got, um, just thinking, what's your domain again, Judy? Uh, fabincome.com. Is that a GoDaddy domain? Yes. Um, 
And I guess you haven't set up your link with YouTube yet, no? I did. Uh, it sort of made me do that as I was when I was discovered when I was playing around this evening. All right, if you send me She's your highly video, intelligent. <laughs> you want to um, just send me your video, uh, um, Julie, on Facebook, and I can make sure that the annotation's coming up, and I can click on the annotation and make sure it goes to your page. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Do you, what? You just want me to send you my link? Yeah, because you only have to register your website with YouTube once. So if you've already done uh, that. I, I, I think I did it this evening. I, I, I think I did it, yeah. Yeah, let me just... Um... Do you want what? me to share my screen again and show you how, how no, I... No, you send me the video. Um, I, can, I can check your annotation on the video, yeah? Just send you the video link, what, yeah? Send me the video on Facebook, yeah, the link to the YouTube video. Okay, one wee second. I'll do that now. Mm -hmm. I just want to check that you've got your link, link. you've got your fab incomes linked with YouTube, phone. Before I show you how to pull it on each, how I pull it on each video, yeah? On the annotations? Yeah. Right, let me just go to YouTube, click on your video. I'll subscribe to it as well. Um, let's just see where you've put the, just see where you've put your annotation. Just check in each video. Okay, you might need to share your YouTube with me in a minute. I just, I uh, just sent you the YouTube video. Yeah, you might have to share your YouTube with me so I can check the annotation because it's a short video and um, I can't see the annotation in the video. So if you just share your screen. Yeah. Go to um, edit that video inside YouTube. Right, go to end screen and annotations at the top, yeah. And go to where it says I went to, This is how I, I went to add element. No, no, I, no, no, I, no. Did, I didn't click annotation. No, I went let's to, to create an end screen, which is basically a page you can put up at the end of the video that comes up. But we're not talking about end screens, we're talking about annotations, yeah. Oh, uh, right, okay. So that's click what I was doing, it was yeah. end screens then. Mm. If you click annotations, so that's it was in that when I clicked on add element, yeah. that's where it made me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't do that. Just go straight to annotations in the future. Okay. Um. So that's where I went wrong. I knew I'd done something. Yeah. You were um, close. You were close. Click where it says on the right hand side where it says edit existing annotation. Uh. See that arrow box? Click that. This one. Yeah. Right, you haven't done it. So if you go where it says add annotation, add annotation, uh, go to where it says note. Right, you can see the little box at the top that's just come up, yeah? So if you just type in something like in the note section on the right hand side, just so, put something like in there, like check out our website or something like that. Or click here to learn more. Anything you can, you can put anything like that in the, in the annotations, yeah? I think you probably still have to do the, I, th I don't think you've done the, um, I always put an exclamation mark as well at the end. Right, where you can see the, the number 13, you want to up that to 28, so people see it, right? Mm -hmm. And you've got, I would, put, I would move it across over to the black background. So you've got it on this orangey red kind of thing. Right, stick it on the black, yeah. And uh, on the right hand side, you, yeah, you want to change that to like a, something like a yellow. You see, and then if you just drag, drag one of the bottom corner on the bottom right, on, I mean on, on the annotation, just make it bigger, you can sort of make it smaller. If you drag it right out, the text gets bigger as you drag it out, yeah? Yeah. And then just, just drag, drag it out, out a bit longer, Julie, on the other side. Always have it on one line, all the text, yeah? There you go, perfect, perfect. Right, now if you go where it says, you see where it says start and you see where it says end? Mm -hmm. You can see on the video itself that it's three minutes, 41 seconds long, yeah? Yeah. 
on the left hand side. Three minutes forty one seconds is the length. So you can click where you want the annotation to first show. I'll generally I'll generally click about thirty seconds before the end. Um, so just stick it like thirty seconds, and then what you want to do is where it says start. Now you want to change that to zero dot zero three. That's three minutes. Zero dot zero three there, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, that's fine. Three minutes and three seconds in, and on the end, you want to make sure that it's three forty one. Otherwise, it's only going to show for like a second or so, yeah. Right. So you see now, if you play the video, yeah. There you go, popped up. So obviously you want to actually move it around so that it doesn't hide over any of the text. Um, there you go. Just play the rest of it to make sure that any of the other slides, it doesn't hide it as well. I mean, obviously some videos... You're not well, on. the more you do it, Julie, the better you'll get at it as well. Yeah, okay. So as they're watching the video, they're going to see that pop up. Right, so that's good. that looks good, yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, so where it says link at the bottom, on the right, but what you want to do is you want to type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash your website basically, and if it's linked, it will Right, it is, I think, because just go where it says preview link. Um, what, just below where you typed it in. Just oh, click preview yeah. link. Check that that, yes, yeah, so that goes straight to your capture page, yeah? So mm -hmm. if you go back to YouTube, all you have to do now is scroll up to the top and apply changes, and it's done. Wow, there and we go. If, you go to your, if I just then load up the video, if I share my screen, what I'll do is I'll load up the video again that you sent me and I'll show you it works. Right, that was so much handier than what I was doing. I went round the, the long way round to do that. <laughs> Can you see my screen, yeah? Mm-hmm. Hey, Terry. Um, I see a Terry who's uh, joined us. So if I go to your uh, YouTube video and I go to the end, you can see it's popped up. I click yeah. on that and look where it goes, straight to your capture page, yeah? Brilliant. That's brilliant, yeah. Right, that's perfect. That's how you do. Um, that's how you basically how you do. And you know how to do like the keywords and how to actually you know put put the video in and upload it and set it public yeah. public or I mean, my, my suggestion, uh, Julie, is just to sort of do a video every day, and after a week of doing the annotations and stuff, you'll have yeah. it sussed. You know, you won't need. You'll be rolling with it. You'll know how to do it. Oh, that's good. No, I've, I'm a lot more confident now about it now I've done the first one. You know, so yeah, I'm just sort of, and we can always do. We can always get on Zoom with you if you if. if and uh, sort of watch you do it and then check that you're doing it right, that kind of thing, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Uh, you've done a video. So if I just okay. edit, if I just go to the edit on one of my videos, I'm also going to show you a couple other tips with the keywords. Okay. So if I go to edit, um, the first tip I'm going to give you is um, when you've saved the video, when you've done the video on Zoom and you end the meeting and it downloads the uh, video, if I just show you one of my Zoom folders, mm -hmm. uh, if I just show you a Zoom. Did you create that folder? So, yeah. What it's going to do is it's going to call it something like Zoom 1, Zoom 2, mm -hmm. Zoom 0, whatever, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, now, what you want to do, and you should always do this, is before you upload it to YouTube, you want to rename the video file as whatever title you're going to give it on YouTube, yeah? So okay. what... Don't um, upload it as Zoom 2 and then change the title in uh, when you go to upload it in this section here. Right. Um, change it before you even start to upload it in YouTube and upload the same file name onto YouTube, yeah? Yeah, yeah. that's the way I do it. Yeah, so always rename the file to what you want to call it on YouTube mm -hmm. before you upload it. That way you get more ranked higher in the videos. Um, 
on YouTube. Um, another tip is to have your link as close to the top as possible. Um, Cause obviously as people go to the description, um, they're going to be looking for your link fast. And if they have to go see more and then scroll down the description. Um, is there a way, I was wondering, you know the way, see the way your link there is HTTP uh, YT 10 bucks biz. Um, is there a way there, I was thinking earlier, is there a way that you can actually click that on there? Yes, so if I go to one of my videos, and I go, hang on, if I just go to one of my... It becomes clickable when it's in the link. Mm -hmm. So you can see here, if I just click here, you can see here it's clickable, yeah? Yeah, how do you do that? It, well, it's already clickable. If you put it in the description, if you just type in the description, um, you know, check it out here, and then you put HTTP. Oh, is it clickable? Yeah, right. I, I, I was, do you know what? I was looking at it in edit earlier and wondering how do I get that clickable? Yes, if you Live. want it clickable in YouTube description, if you want people to be able to click it in the YouTube description, mm -hmm. always, always have HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Yeah. Uh, don't just put www.fabincomes.com, put HTTP colon mm -hmm. forward slash forward slash www. Oh, right. Why do you do that, Joe? Why do that? Because then it becomes type clickable. In. You just type oh. it in the description, you just type it in like. When you go to do your scripture, you just type in HTTP, check out here, HTTP. Um, always make sure you've got the HTTP. Because then when, when, you, when it's uploaded and published to YouTube, it knows it's a link. It knows it's okay. a link. Yeah. Um, otherwise... So did you buy a new domain? Did you buy a new domain to get the, the YT, yeah? No, that's a, a PLS feature where you can just create... Let's say you've got your capture page, fabincomes.com. Mm -hmm. And what you could do in PLS is just create an exact duplicate of that page and and create a little subdomain like whatever you want so like yt or if you wanted like uh, twitter you could put just like, show with that quickly will you if you don't mind yeah. can That's i can i go into my pls can i learn better yeah way? yeah can you can you share screen and, and we'll talk you through it julie yeah sure it's screen. very very simple it's, to do it's very very easy once you know what you're doing yeah um So yeah, I'll show you how to do it. So if you go where it says websites, my web pages, um, my web pages. This is where I help her set it up now, so she's got one that she can use for YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, copy your capture page where it says copy on the right hand side. Uh, go for the UK webinar page. No, no, no. Oh, no, no she... Capture page. Sorry, capture page. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Capture That's... page. Is the one she's got two there? Capture yeah, page. capture page one. I think it is. If you go to copy, just go test link first. Just go test but link. It, it doesn't have the um, you know, the, the webinar. Um, no, you, you want the capture page, not the webinar. Yeah, oh, the yes, capture go, page. Go, okay. just go test link, uh, Judy, on each of those capture pages. Right, that's fabincome.com. Yeah, uh, go back to my web pages at the top on the tabs. And just go to web capture page two test link. Right, yeah. So capture page one, yeah. So if you go back to my web pages, and if you just go uh, on the right hand side of page one, copy. Mm -hmm. You're now creating a duplicate of that page, yeah. Yeah. So where it says title of this web page to show here, this is what you'll see. So you want it to, to know that it's your YouTube page. So I'll just put in. Infinity on the top, the top box. I'll put um, Infinity Reloaded YouTube Capture Page. That way, if you ever edit it or anything, you know that this one is for your YouTube. Yeah. Mhm. Mm right. Right. Perfect. Um, where it says on the step two, uh, where it says I want to use a new address with my existing domain, you can then put in there. A subdomain, so like YT. Right, scroll down. Just quickly, Julie, at the top there where it's got the title of the page, you want the ultimate step by step system. And hyphenate after step. Yeah, step by hyphen, yeah, step. Yeah. Right, so on the YT, um, that's fine. If you scroll down, you want to select, you've got AWeber, yeah? Yeah. 
So you want to go add, check that box that says add opt-in lead to Aweber. Add list name, you want to change to Infinity Reloaded. So they go to that list, yeah. And um, after, the, after they opt in, they go into the website. Oh, you want to take out www before the word webinar. If you've got a subdomain, you never want a www in there. Because look, it says you, you also want to click on where it says add opt in to PowerLead Contact Manager, use bot checker. You want, you want that. Otherwise, you're not going to get an email from PLS when someone opts in, yeah. So just take out the www, because as you can see it in that red at the top, very important, never use a www in front of your subdomain. Okay. So you won't want http colon forward slash forward slash www.yt.fab. You don't need that, yeah, just the, w, just the YT. Right. If you scroll down and you, hit, and you click where it says save, And you can then sub, uh, you can just go straight to review and view your web page. And there you go, yt. Congratulations, you just created your own capture page for YouTube. Yay! So that's the one I put in there. So even on the, you know, the best. Uh, on the annotation as well, I would put yt as well. Yeah, so when you when you um. Scroll down. What you want to do is well, I'm you the have to, in here. Yeah, take out the www and put yt.fabincome.com. Save okay. at the top if you save it. Just save okay. it and apply changes. There you go. It's changed. Right. If you go back to where it says videos uh, on the left hand side, left hand side. Now we're going to change it over in the description. Yeah. And then you can then put that page in when you're doing your YouTube. And anyone who opts in at that page, you know, is from one of your YouTube videos, yeah? Mm -hmm. If you go to, down to the description, uh, so take out the www. Um, like I said, always have HTTP, um, otherwise it won't be clickable. So HTTP colon yt dot fab income, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, and then if you scroll up and save, Right, yeah. now you're promoting that capture page for YouTube on your... Video. I think you've just turned pro, uh, Julie. Yay! <laughs> right, if I share my screen, I've just got a couple other tips. Okay. She's going to have hundreds of videos on there now. <laughs> I know, I yeah. will. No stopping me. It's I mean, great for traffic. It really is great for traffic and opt-ins. Yeah. Just to show you one thing you can do, if I just show you one of my other um, YouTube videos. In a minute, show Julie the opt-ins you're getting, Joe. I will, yeah. If I um, just show you um, one of my videos, and let's go to this one. Uh, you can see here the number of views, so like 29, uh, 13, uh, 20, 15. Um, you get people to like them, does that bring it up a wee bit higher? Yeah, so what you can do obviously is send them to, pick, send, uh, definitely when you do a video, send it to us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Send it to us guys, uh, put it in the juice chat in Infinity yeah. Juice Chat, you know, post it on your timeline, all that, that kind of, likes, yeah. mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Get it out there. The more views you get on each video, you can see here at thirty-seven, seventy-nine. They're all going to add up, and our goal should is to it, get. Should I put it on my Facebook account as well? My Facebook yeah. So if I show you my um, Facebook profile, yeah, she's starting to get it now. She's starting to latch on what we're doing, Joe. I'm latching on, latching on. Yeah, I need it too. Um, James, that was a real wake-up call today. Thank you very much. I needed that chat. I mean, Joe would tell you, we've done loads of selling of products online, haven't we, Joe? And it's disastrous, isn't it? Yeah. Joe, why, why, is, why is it that products don't sell well online? And I'm not going to say nothing to Joe. Why is it, Joe? What did we discover? You've got me in a conundrum now. <laughs> why is it? Why is, when you go to sell products, what's the main thing people go to? Um, what, why is it that it doesn't work very well? Well, a lot of things, a lot of people go straight to Google and look up reviews and stuff, and eBay as well, and Amazon. Yeah, you told you, told you. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, people will go to Google, that kind of thing, so. Um, I, did, I did my research after you talked to me about that, James, and 
yeah, there was a, you were absolutely right. Obviously. I mean, this is one we did um, where we were just talking, myself and my mother, we were chatting about the 45 year plan that we covered on the um, um, uh, webinar earlier. Uh, I also obviously did screenshots as well. This is mm -hmm. one of the videos where I was going through uh, with a team member how the pay plan works. So going through some of the slides and I put it on YouTube, on Facebook, on my timeline. And, you know, if you're connecting with people every day on, ti on Facebook, they're going to come to your timeline. First things they're going to see is um, your posts that you're doing about stuff, yeah? And I've had a lot of people say, and this guy here, Edmund Parr, he signed up today. Um, he saw one of my posts, this post here, and he actually signed up. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, all these kind of posts I do. is another YouTube video that I posted. Um, but the point is, you want to be aiming for a thousand videos because once you get a thousand videos mm -hmm. uh, it re you know, you're going to be getting a lot of leads every day coming in from YouTube and sign up mm -hmm. so okay. I mean, let's say you're getting a few views a day on each video you know that's thousands of um, people what every day watching your um, that's yeah. more opt-ins and more people signing up on top of what you're doing on Facebook Brilliant. And LinkedIn, I mean, of course. Look at this video here. What is Infinity Reloaded? 417 views. Wow. In, uh, about six weeks, yeah? So as you got... Show, uh, show us some of your opt-ins. I'll show you some of my opt-ins today as well. It's been quite quite good today. Uh, considering I've been out all day. But show us some of your opt-ins, Joe, to give her an idea what, what she can expect. I mean... Yeah, the opt-ins. Hang on. You mean the YouTube opt-ins or? Well, in general, yeah, because some come from YouTube, some come from... I mean, hang on, if I just put in my YouTube thing, I'll show you all the ones. At the moment, it's, we're sort of, those are all the YouTube opt-ins we've had so far. Um, right. 20, and you can see the dates uh, that they're coming in. So we had uh, one today, this guy actually, I believe he, David Osman, he actually signed up um, after watching one of my YouTube videos and then obviously going through to watch the webinar after he opted in and then he was in. Um, one yesterday, um, you know, three on the 15th, four on the 15th, one on the fourth. So every day, pretty much, we're getting at least a couple, one or two opt-ins, yeah. But we've only got like 30, we've only got about 50 or 60 videos up on Infinity Reloaded. So obviously, as your channel grows, uh, more and more people are going to watch those videos and more and more people are going to opt in. Well, yeah? it's more and more search, uh, it's more and more keywords. Everything multiplies, doesn't it? I mean, Taking into account the um, the actual signups, um, you know, once you get once you get, you can see these are our front level uh, signups. Today we've had uh, five um, front level, and over time, as you're sort of growing your YouTube channel and you're doing a lot of things on Facebook, um, you're going to be getting um, even to the point now where we don't want any more front level because we're trying to. We're trying to put people under Just show it. that back office again. It's just getting ridiculous on the front level, isn't it? <laughs> that is crazy. I mean, literally, I keep saying to mum, let's stop going front level, let's stop going, and people just coming in. That's like, one of the good things about having the rotator. It's going to be great. Yeah, because too many people, obviously, front level means you can't work as much with sort of all those kind I can't of wait till the, we got the rotators. That would be brilliant. Julie, you'll be in my rotator. Well, yeah, when you talked about that today, I want to make sure I am. Mm -hmm. You will be. <laughs> yeah, so if I go reports and I go clear some affiliates, 221, you can see. Well, if that's I just, amazing. If I just showed the, I mean, we're about 30, 15, 20 people away from what we, what I built in SBC in five months. And this is mm. less than two months in, so you can that's see here. So good. You can see, if I just go with that, you can see all these. Uh, team members. We're now nine, look at this, nine levels deep. Mm, unbelievable. Um, that means I'm eight, eight levels deep. Exactly. Yeah. So you're right here. I'm, I'm eight levels deep. Mm -hmm. You can see where I am there, look. Can you see me there? Yeah, yeah you're here. Um, this is us. Um, and look at all the people. Look at all the people. Look, these are all the front levels that have come in. Look. Chuck Bell and David Osman have joined in the last couple of hours since the webinar. Unbelievable. Top these five Graham Snell onwards, these five came in today, yeah. Um I mean, how do you get the time to train them all, Joe? Well that's the thing. We're we're going sort of two more wide than we want to be going. Um we sort of get them plugged into the support chat. We tell them, you know, go through the basic training, um, start implementing it. Uh, we plug them into obviously the training group, we tell them to go 
check out the file section. Whoever want, whoever you see sort of comes up. And know. I mean, and obviously also we're trying to we're searching out already like network marketers, people who sort of know mm -hmm. how to people yeah. who know what they're doing. Yeah. So I mean, many people like Donna, ish. This lady actually came in from YouTube. Um, if I just show uh, Donna McKee. Um, this lady here, she's actually joined the team about three weeks ago, and I just got a Facebook message. Oh, that's another thing I do. But she I came doing. in from YouTube, yeah? Yeah, she came in from YouTube. What she did, she watched one of my videos on YouTube, and she hit me up on Facebook out of the blue, and uh, that's another thing I was going to give on a tip as well, is if you put your, you can put in the description for your YouTube videos, um, you know, connect with me on Facebook here, and put your Facebook profile. I saw that, I meant to do that, I saw that in one of your videos, yeah. Yeah. So that's another thing we're doing. I also put my uh, mothers in there as well, because um, obviously some people prefer to work with, you know, women, some men, whatever. Um, but you can see um, Donna here, she's joined three weeks ago, and you can see all the people she's brought in, about 15 or so. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Are you much more enlightened, uh, Julie? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I'm a lot more excited as well, James. Just too. hit me up and said, hit me up basically out of the blue on Facebook. I got a message from someone in my message requests and I accepted it. It was, it was hey, Joe, I've just watched one of your YouTube videos, um, but I still have a couple of questions. Uh, would you mind answering? Would you mind answering basically? And I was chatting to her for about an hour. And then she the great, the, cool, sorry, Joe, the great thing about YouTube is um, I've got I've got one channel that's got had over a million views, okay? And the great thing about YouTube is it's 24-7, 365 days. Once you've done the video, it's there forever. Yeah. It's just that's like a permanent just traffic. Machine, yeah. It's like a permanent lead machine. Then. Yeah, it's, it's like a permanent lead machine. The more you have it, the, the more insane it gets. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, what you want to do... Uh, is uh julius just commit to doing at least one video a day um with that you know in a year from now you're gonna have even in six months from now you're gonna have nearly 200 videos up on youtube you know yeah i can do that cool okay we've only, we've only got 50 to 60 um videos on reloaded up on youtube and we're getting you know signups coming in you know every other day from youtube and a lot mm. of the great thing about it julie is you can actually Go to Joe's account, go to my account, and you can upload some of our videos and just put your links in as well. So you've got more content there as well. Yeah. It's all mm -hmm. extra traffic. Yeah. Yeah. Put your link in there. And, um, yeah. 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 Cause Joe can do some videos and put your link, my link. Joe, Joe and I done a, an interview the other day. Um, me, Joe and Abby and, um, Joe put my links on there on his account. See, and I've done the same with my account. So I've got to basically, two videos with like my, my account so i can do the same for you i can put some of your videos on my account Julie, where i've got more subscribers yeah yeah that's lovely mm -hmm. thanks i'll show you one more couple more tips on youtube um so the, the biggest tip i give you is commit to doing a video every day just mm -hmm. get it out there even if you think it's not perfect i mean like i said at the start i've done videos where i sort of repeat myself or i didn't think it was that good um, or I sort of you just got to see the that. bigger picture of it. Every every video is going to get views, and those views add up. Yeah. yeah. Or I sort of stumbled on my words, or whatever. It doesn't matter. I just get it up there, and the people yeah. go watch. Um, it's all about getting. The great thing about it, uh, from from your views comes your subscribers, and every time you upload a new video, they're going to see it as well. Yeah, because mm. what happens is they get an email saying you, Joe Curtis has just uploaded a video. Mm -hmm. more subscribers you build a lot of them are going to come back watch your future videos which then boosts up your views yeah, yeah. And if i just show you if i sign out of my youtube and i go to the main youtube if you go to if you stop if you share screens there judy and you just type in in youtube infinity reloading when you do a lot of videos this is this will start happening to you yeah? if you just put in infinity reloading you'll see that, look whose videos come up right at the top, yeah? Joe. No, Joe. I mean, anyone on, anyone on the web, on anyone on Google who comes over to YouTube, or anyone who's sort of looking at this opportunity and comes over to YouTube and, and says, I'm going to check this out and uh, watch some videos on it. Well, yeah, gonna I'm going gonna... to overtake you on that one. <laughs> well, I mean, mm. we're... That's the goal, that's the goal. We're doing about three to five uh, videos a day, yeah? on YouTube. Um.
Wow, three to five get days. Out there. I mean, it only takes an hour to sort of do a few short videos, get them up on YouTube, put in the keywords. And what you can do is have a keyword file, like a notepad document with a load of keywords. That's what I love about this. I have never, ever get bored with it. You know, if I've had enough of doing connections on Facebook, I'll go to LinkedIn. If, if not that, I'll do a new video, upload it to YouTube. There's always something to do, you know. If not, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll design a new graphic for the team or something like that, you know. There's always something to do. Right? Uh, I mean, that's, that's, you just got to stick to the plan. So do a YouTube video. So what, yeah. what about the keywords, Joe? I mean, would you put all of them, bombard them all into each video? Or do you, you know just... What I do? What, I'll show you what I do. It depends on what one what I've done the video on, and two what I call the video. So if I just go to oh, I see. If I just go to my YouTube and I'll show you one of my videos, I'll show you the keywords that I've used. So it all depends what I've done the video on. So you can see uh, today we done one about um, like the forty five year plan, yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, most of those keywords are not like infinity reloaded review, infinity reloaded that. Uh, most of these words will be like um, how to quit my job and work full time online or how to so mm -hmm. it's sort of related to what you're talking about yeah, uh, yeah. if I just show you the keywords on this one I've done it more sort of about network market I've done infinity reloaded in there as well um, but you can see uh, how That's to quit more, yeah. network marketing full time how to make a full time living with network marketing so I'm always doing trying to think of long term Long tail keywords, so not like make money online. Right. Things people will type in, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, that's right. Make, exactly that. Make money online. There's so many videos that are using make money online. Mm -hmm. um, you'll get less views by putting in short keywords like make money online. Yeah, there's, long, there's long keywords and short keywords. Long keywords are the best because they target a, a more specific audience. So, you know? Rather than just putting like infinity, I know I put that in this one. Just to link it because I had these were longer, so I had to sort of get it in there somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. If I was doing a video on Infinity Reloaded only, um, and not like talking about the forty-five year plan and stuff. And I was showing like our tree and that. What I would do is I put things like, "How do I earn money with Infinity Reloaded?" That's a longer one. Yeah. How yeah. do I? How how does the Infinity Reloaded comp plan work? How does Infinity Reloaded work? Uh, Kind of like I kind of think about what are people going to be typing in? Is Infinity Reloaded a scam? Is Infinity Reloaded a legitimate opportunity? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How, how do I make a six-figure income with network marketing? Um, how do I sponsor fifty people a month in MLM? Yeah. Yeah. And if you got you know a thousand videos, in each video you've got like a lot of different keywords, um, then you've got so many keywords out there that people are going to be searching for finding your videos that bring them to your videos yeah, and your channel. And mm -hmm. so I always as well, another thing I do is I put, um, uh, some of the keywords in here I put in the description. So let's say I've got a keyword infinity reloaded scam. I would put something like in this, in the description, like, uh, just a quick review. Um, about Infinity Reloaded, maybe you're wondering whether it's a scam Ooh. or whether it's a legit opportunity. Um, if, like, is Infinity Reloaded legit in, is one of the keywords, then I'll sort of put it in here as well, yeah? Just stand by, Nelson. Yeah, it's all right. So let's say one of the keywords, I mean, let me just show you one of my other videos so you sort of understand that a bit more. Let's say one of my keywords, let's just go to this one. Uh, let's just say and I always put like scam and Ponzi and all that kind of stuff because people will type that in. Yeah. Yeah. Also put in things like is infinity infinity reloaded review. How does the infinity reloaded PayPal work? But let's say um, most videos. What I'll do is I will put in um, and I, you can see this is a video here. A uh, Eugene Mosey who's in the team. What I did was I download one of his videos, upload it to my um, channel and you can see that I've put in his link yeah so I'm promoting yeah oh you use one of my images how nice of you I see that. <laughs> um, thumbnails is another one yes um, that you can it's always called sort of use one of your ads as a thumbnail or if you're showing your tree rather than just uh, this one's a private one I did for just my Aweber list but if I was doing a YouTube video showing the tree and it's public um, I'll sort of do one with fast stone I just edit it, show you what I mean. I sort of do something like that, yeah. Rather than them just seeing like a tree of people, I think yeah. they're going to be like looking at that and they're going to say, "Yeah, I'll check out that video." Um, 
So how do you add, how do you upload a fast stone capture image then? You would just go where it says uh, change oh, image. Oh, change image, and then you just upload it from you your. Just upload it from your computer, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then save changes, and then it'll be on it. It can take up to ten minutes to for your thumbnail to actually sort of propagate. Upload. Yeah. yeah all right. Actually, I actually do like images in advance. If I know I'm going to do like a set of videos, I'll do like some images in in, in advance because I know I'm going to use them for my uh, YouTube ones. You can yeah? See, this is one I did for uh, Udemy. Um, rather than just showing like the Udemy site like this, um, I sort of did a fast. I took a load of my leads and put like 100 click 63 options as a thumbnail. Yeah, so when they're searching on YouTube, um, like um, pay traffic, I've got solo ads, that kind of thing. Um, so I wouldn't put Infinity Reloaded in this one because that's not about Infinity Reloaded, yeah? Yeah. Um, I mean, that's I think, just common sense, I mean. But all the thumbnails here, um, uh, you can see... If you just go up to that one that we done the other day, Joe, the interview, if you just click on that, I'll just show you what I mean, uh, Julie, the testimonial one. Yeah. Uh, go, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Testimonial there, me picture of me there. If you just click no, that's on... you. That wasn't the interview. Hang on. That wasn't the interview. That was what your testimonial. Oh right. Oh yeah, yeah. You did upload it. Hang on. It's on there somewhere. I can't remember which one was. Put it up there. I can't remember. Hey, that's sixty-three opt-in rate. Bloody good, isn't it? By anyone's standards. <laughs> That's good. Everyday sales with this ten dollar business look, and I've done like everyday look news out this kind of images I'm using, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't have to be like. I mean, I know you, you do a lot of graphics, don't you? But um, Dad, but um. Yeah, yeah. But just sorry, about my dog's got a squeaky toy. I'll, I'll having, mute myself a minute. Having something on there is better than um. Look, you see this one here. I've got like get results fast with this amazing ten dollar business. Um, in that one, I've just put the this image here yeah brilliant uh, you can see with this um uh keywords easiest online business how to get res fast results online how to get results today online how to make money fast online um cheap online business that gets results how do i start making money online today how do I build a full-time income online? How do I quit my job and work full-time online? It's basic. I mean, you can also use, I don't know if you've ever heard of um, the Google keyword tool. You can use that as well. And that's yeah. a great, great thing to use um, because it's got, it's, you know, Google knows what people are searching, you know, so you can use the Google that keyword tool. As well. Sorry, go again. I'm trying to find that one. I definitely have. Yeah, no, I'm not too sure where that is. Um, doesn't matter. I was just going to show you, you know, what we do as well is Joe will like upload one of my videos. I'll, I'll upload one of Joe's videos and we yeah. can put vice versa, put like different links in there as well. Yeah, we can see here that 125 views, 17, 19, 37, 4, 79. They're all going to add up to thousands. Yeah. 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 I mean, on one of my YouTube accounts, I must have, I think it's about, um, I think it's about 320 something videos from that 320 videos. It's, it's I think it's about 970 something thousand views, nearly a million views, look, just from 300 and something videos over the last uh, seven or eight years. You know, that's amazing, yeah? Mm hmm. Sometimes the thumbnail have like a nice um, beach or something um, to break it up a bit, yeah? Um, especially like that's my, like one of my desktop backgrounds I'll have when we're like talking on the computer, yeah? Yeah. Because quite often, so, and the image on the video can actually attract someone to actually watch it as well. Yeah, exactly. So the thumbnail is important. The keywords are important. Um, the title is important. Um, but just sort of do a, do. I mean, you're going to find which videos work. I mean, look at like just by the views. So don't worry sort of about getting the perfect keywords or getting the perfect images. Mm -hmm. if you've done a hundred videos and they've all got different keywords and they've got different. Uh, thumbnails and they've got different titles um, you're going to learn you know what your most performing keywords are what your from the video that gets the most views yeah yeah I mean like 421 the one that had 413 views mm -hmm. uh, you can you know you can use the same keywords that video has again for other videos in fact 417 so I could go to this I know this video is a high performing one so I go into this 
Um, and I could sort of look, what keywords am I using, yeah? And sort of take them. And you know how to extract them, don't you now, Julie? Yep. So, you know, look at our videos and see what the highest performing videos we've got on our YouTube channel are. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's take, a good tip. Take some of those keywords, look at the title I'm using, look at the um, keywords I'm using, look at the thumbnails I'm using. I love um, YouTube. I think it's one of the best traffic sources. I think even though there's millions of videos on YouTube, it's one of the most underused traffic sources in the it world. It is the best. I'm pretty, I'm, I, it is the I best. Yeah, definitely. It's the best free traffic source you, there is. I mean, Facebook yeah, is... Absolutely. I totally agree. Totally agree. What we're, what we're discussing here is like Facebook and connect to people on Facebook and LinkedIn. That's like the short-term strategy, yeah, where you're going to get you're going to get your leads this week. You're going to get your sign-ups, you know, if you work it. Um, you know, fast, yeah. But with YouTube, it's going to sort of grow as you build. It's your long term, you know, six months to a year from now. You've built your channel up. You've got a lot of videos up there, and you're getting leads every day coming in. People opting in without without you having to connect with anyone, you know. Well, you're leveraging your time and effort, aren't you, by having you know it's there twenty four seven, three hundred sixty five once. You do a video once, and that video could over the time get thousands of views or even hundreds of opt ins, you know, from one video. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, like, like, for example, when I showed you earlier that Donna um, watched one of my videos and um, signed up for, from YouTube, and now she could go on to bring in some massive networkers who build a huge team, and then, you know, look at the benefit from that, from just one video that she watched, yeah, so. Yeah. Just got to sort of stick to the So, Joe, I mean, you know, obviously you've done, you know, whatever many videos you've done on Affinity Reloaded and you're you're gonna be the first name that comes up anytime anyone types it in. Um I mean how can anybody sort of stand a chance with that at unless the moment, at, the moment. Huh? at the moment it all changes depending on it all changes. It all, it just, all uh, I'm just gonna mute someone a minute one sec. I don't know if uh, people are joining from our, our link that we've got out. Let me just uh, that is Okay, okay. We've got, a, we've got a few people on it, Julie, because we're using the same link as the webinar link. So that's yeah, okay. we don't mind people jumking on for a one-on-one -on -one training. Well, they can just spectate, yeah? Go it, all change, it all changes uh, every day, um, you know, the algorithms and where you're positioned. Um, so, you know, it's not because I'm at the top now. I'm not necessarily tomorrow. I will be at the top, you know? Yeah. Uh, it all depends. I don't know exactly how to use it, but obviously if keywords as well. Not everyone's going to be just typing in that one keyword. You know, there's un there's unlimited amount of keywords that you know you can put in your yeah, video. Yeah, over time, don't forget you're going to have more and more people doing videos on Infinity Reloaded. That that sort of relation uh, of, of video, that the, the um, same kind of same don't worry. I mean, the main thing to focus on, uh, Julia, is don't worry about what anyone else is doing. Just worry about you know yeah what, the videos right. you're putting out there every day. That's great. Thank the you. The only way to build um, the tallest building taller is build yours the tallest. <laughs> another great thing you can do, um, Julie, is now that you've got your a Aweber sorted out and you've got your capture page sorted out, what you can do is when you start doing your YouTube videos, um, you can put that YouTube video um, in one of your Aweber emails. Yes, I'll do like a wee separate broadcast, yeah. I mean, if I just show you uh, how it loads in the... Um, if I just show you, take you back over to... Um, These are the kind of skills that you need to learn. I mean, in Infinity Reloaded, what me, myself and Joe do is really advanced stuff. We know that. We don't teach this to everybody because it's more of the advanced levels. But mm -hmm. the skills that we teach, they'll serve you right forever. That, that you, you could build any business doing what we're doing, yeah? Basically. Yeah. But obviously, for Infinity Reloaded and and what we're doing in Infinity Reloaded, you know, these are the skills that you really want. When you when you put it all together, Aweber capture pages, um, you've got your emails going out. They've got your videos in the link, and you're getting traffic from YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook. Yeah, the whole thing comes together, and that's that's how you get growth, like myself and Joe. Yeah, it's not just one source. It's not just one video. It's not just. It's a consistent multitude of all the different things working together. Um, yeah, I mean, like, like we got Mass Planner, uh, that, that, that brings in opt-ins. We've got YouTube videos, that brings and in I know that eventually, this time next year, you know, we're going to be getting 50 leads a day easy from YouTube. Mm -hmm. Just coming in all day long, you know. And you'll have the same if you sort of stick with the plan and do a video every day. Um, 
you're going to have the same thing. It's inevitable. And you will earn way more than what your sister's earning. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, we're taught, we're, I mean, it's pretty simple. You just got to, you just really, all you have to do is generate leads. And that's what we're teaching here. You know, whether it's YouTube or Facebook or LinkedIn, um, you're building one, a short term strategy with the Facebook connecting with people. We teach, you know, um, connect with people every day, send the scripts to them, you know, get people looking at your page today um, on Facebook and LinkedIn and stuff. And you're doing your ads. So you're getting people opting in today, but you're also building up your long term asset, which is like your YouTube channel. Um, Cause obviously what you don't want, you do want to get to a point where you've got many people, you know, signing up every day and opting in every day uh, without you having to constantly, you know, you don't want a year from now to still be sort of, sort of being that grind of having to constantly, I mean, I know I don't, I want to sort of build this up so that a year from now I'm getting like 50 leads a day coming in and signups every day and people going up the levels every day and you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, like you've paid your dues in a way, like. Yeah, you know what I mean? So you've built it up. You've built up the foundations, you've built up your channel. I mean, you look at like people like uh, Sean Powell, who who done a lot of YouTube videos. I think he's got nearly a thousand YouTube videos. Um, and you can make a lot just from YouTube. Yeah. Well, my I I, I actually make money on some of my YouTube videos. Not not um, some of the like the hobby ones I've got because you know I've got eleven channels, right? So um, yeah. some of, some of them are, are monetized. So some of my videos are monetized for YouTube. Now my last payment from um, Google, which is obviously uh, from YouTube videos. Um, just from people clicking on my videos, nothing to do with like the work ones, just the, sort of the other videos out there, which I actually monetize. The ones that I do for like Infinity Reloaded, SBC and stuff like that, they're not monetized because I don't want people having, you know, I, I don't want that in the way. But the other ones, uh, the last payment was £212 um, just from I mean, really, a month. All of our videos are technically monetized because we're promoting, you know, Infinity Reloaded and people can opt in and join them. So in that way, sort of all of our videos are, um, yeah, but I mean, actually monetized from actual... Um, yeah, with the ads, but I wouldn't do it with the kind of videos... No, no, I don't, I don't. I've not seen any um, marketers, and I've been following quite a few channels. Well, like, you don't want ads on your video. You want your videos yeah. to come up. You don't want ads and stuff in the way, do you? Yeah, exactly. So just have them non-monetized, but sort of do videos um, and talk about, you know, how you came into this, your results so far, your story, um, you know, what you're doing to promote it, all that kind of stuff. People will mm -hmm. then... I also do videos like a bit of uh, not too, I don't go into too much detail, but I say, you know, I'm using this awesome uh, software called mass plan and what I'm using it to do. And then people okay. start, I've had people sign up. In fact, one person the other day, um, Hey, I've just watched your uh, mass plan video on YouTube. Um, can you send me your link to get started with it? Right. Um, okay. And so he, uh, he signed up me in mass plan and then he was asking me about like the infinity reloaded system and uh, I think he's signing up this weekend into that as well. So, and people sort of see you as a leader, like you know what you're talking about, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, um, guys. Can... I'm hoping this has been a help to you. Oh, it's been wonderful, honestly. It's just what I needed today. Today's been a, a wee turnaround day, I think, definitely, for me. We all get them. We, we all... Uh... Don't forget, it's every every person has that sort of, you know, that niggling bit of doubt. It's, you know, yeah, it's just know the way... The way the mind works, you know? Yeah. We all have it. We, we all go through it. It doesn't matter how successful you are. We all have that sort of, uh, what if this doesn't, you know, doesn't go the way I want it to go and all that, you know? We all have that sort of, um, you just got to do the activity. Like I said to you on, in, when I was in the car today, it's all about activity. If anyone that's successful, you, you can always tell someone that's successful because they just do more. Yeah. yeah. It's and all about activity. Time. It, it wasn't rain wasn't built in a day you know so it's sort yeah of like, that's right isn't it? i mean i mean the like, only reason the only reason you've got really good growth and i've got good growth is because of what we do every day yeah well, but, but mm -hmm. like you on a 45 year plan this is like a two to five year to get really you know rich from this um it takes time to sort of build up and build up the foundation yeah. it's a learning curve as well i mean the more you learn i mean you're gonna you're gonna learn you're in this massive learning curve at the moment julie yeah. And you're learning fast as well. But some of the things that we use, I mean, it's taken Joe and I years to learn this, yeah? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, well no, thank you. Thanks for that. Some, some of it we've learned really quick, but some of it, 
some of it from our own sort of failures as well. Some some of the things that we've done that haven't worked yeah. very well. I mean, so just before you just before you go, Judy, um, this is an AWeb email I sent out earlier, and uh, you can see in here. Um, I've put the link to YouTube, watch the video, yeah? Yes. Um, what I also love about, if you put it in properly, like I do it, uh, when they click on that, it actually, hang on, if I actually show you the real email I did. Yeah, that's the one you sent me. <laughs> hang on. Just two and what I do, what I do, Julie, if I, when I get that from Joe, because I'm obviously, uh, Joe sends them to me as well. Sometimes I'll do them, sometimes Joe will do them, sometimes Abby will do them. Um, we just use the same thing and we just duplicate it to ourselves, yeah? Yeah. I mean, that's the email, same email that went out to my um, um, list earlier on Mayweather, yeah? Yeah, so I mean, this was like, one of the, I always sort of put a picture at the top of my Mayweather. You can see, look, look on his face, like, ah. Mm. Like shocked, isn't he? Right, hang on. Um, I'm just trying to find this video I put in one of the emails so I can show you exactly how it shows in the Gmail plan. I'm hoping uh, other other people that are on with us um, are taking this in as well. I'm going to, this is being recorded, so if you'd like the recording, if you want to get in touch with myself or Joe, um, you, you, we'll, we'll put this recording up on uh, on the Facebook group, on the training and support group as well, so check there later. And um, if I don't get it up tonight, I'll try and get it up on in the morning, so hopefully... It helps other people as well. Mm. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not, I wouldn't say it's really like difficult. You just got sort of each day have a plan of what you're going to do and stick to that every day. And eventually, you're going to have a big YouTube channel. You're going to have a lot of Facebook connections um, who have who sort of joined you. And from there, then your team will start and build their teams. And that's how it sort of explodes. It's a bit, it's about having rods in the pond at the end of the day. More rods you've got, the more leads you get, more leads you, just you get. Keep, you want to keep going wide until you find someone like yeah. us, or Ouija or Donna, you know, somebody starts building and then, yeah. and then it'll start exploding. Because it'll go deep anyway, but there's only so much, you, like I said to Joe um, a few times, there's only so much you can do what, in width. I mean, Joe's at the point now where he's you know very very wide he can't I signed up about 60 people into inferno <laughs> and i put about 15 of them under other people but 45 are, are, are front level wide yeah and i'm trying to stop it i'm trying to like promote other people's links but they're still coming in well, like, that's where the rotator will help isn't it because we can put them in the rotator so that'll cut down a lot of that as well i mean like just to show the people right on here it's just ridiculous. I mean, like, we're trying to not go funny. Yeah, we'll wrap it up. We'll wrap, wrap it up shortly, uh, shortly, but it is. It's got to the point where it's ridiculous. <laughs> Crazy. Um, crazy. But all the strategies work, you know, like YouTube and Facebook and LinkedIn and all they all work. It's just a case of... Um, it's just a case of doing enough of it. Mm -hmm. If you're doing one thing and then, oh, it's not... You know, no one's coming in. You just need to do more. I, mean, I, had, a very, I had a very good conversation with a, a, a top networker once, and I was in the bar with him, and I said, "Okay, well, so what? Uh, tell me, Bob, what's your uh, what's your secret?" Oh, man? Bob Webb. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I said, "What's your secret, man?" He goes, "Well, I'll tell you what it is." He brought me a drink, and he said, "You just got to do more." <laughs> I was expecting a whole. Ooh. I was going to get my notepad out, you know, and, I, and he goes, "In network marketing," he says. The people at the top just do more. So if you want to know, you know, if, you, if you're frustrated with it, you, there's, you, there's nothing you can't do that more people won't help. You know, there's, there's nothing that more people won't cure, you know. So if, you, if you're in something, you're not making enough money or, or it's not growing as quick, whatever, just, you just need more people. And the only way you're going to get more people is if you do more. And you leverage your time. You do it smart, like YouTube channel. No, I was only new to it then. It was about 20, 25 years ago. I was only new to it. One of my, you know, sort of uh, real old school, um, you know, another company. But what he what he taught me was very, very valid. Even even in this, you know, um, you know, if you want if you want to have success in network marketing, you just got to do more. You just you just got to ask yourself, are you doing enough? You know, because at the end of the day, it is just a numbers game. And have you have you given it enough time as well? Yeah. I mean, how long does I mean most people most tradition? I saw a post on Facebook the other day, and they were saying like. 
it's crazy how people come into an online business and a week later they're gone. I mean, if you're starting like a proper restaurant or a bricks and mortar business, you wouldn't, you wouldn't exactly. put a hundred thousand, you wouldn't put a hundred thousand dollars on yeah, the table. If people, if people put like a hundred grand into this instead of ten dollars, I then soon make it work. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's like Priorities, isn't it? a proper a, a, a bricks and mortar business. They don't expect to be in profit for like at least four or five years. You know. Yeah, people people join this because it's like only ten dollars or oh well we'll see how it goes. You know, the amount of people that say to me, Oh, I'll see how it goes. For me, for me and you, Joe, it was hey, let's let's get on and rock this, you know, let's do this, you know. If you're gonna be like, let's see how it goes, why even join in the first place? You're just setting yourself up for failure. It's like Yoda says, you know, um do or do not, there is no try. It's true. It's very true. It's like people who say, Is it um oh I th I thought it was a one time ten dollar payment. I mean you've gotta be serious. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, Same immediately man. I say this isn't right for you, and and I and I don't I don't go any further with them, you know. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, with that, let's let's close with this because the video is getting longer and longer. It's getting later yeah. and later. Um, yeah. I'm hope I'm hoping you you've taken away um a, uh, a new Lord. thing, Julie. Guys, thank you very I'll much get, for the I'll time. I'll get the video on the no group worries. as well. I'll send you a link to the video when I got it uploaded. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. All right, thanks, guys. Bye, bye. Yeah, bye. Bye, Julie. I'll, I'll speak bye. to you later, Joe. Bye, bye. I'll speak to you in the morning, Joe. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.